Well, hello there, bee friend. Today we're gonna to talk about installing a nuke. The first thing to do is to remember to relax. This is a super simple process and really is very difficult to mess up. All you're really doing is putting bees into the hive. There's a few steps to installing a nuke. First, you're gonna open the nuke. Next, you're gonna check the queen. And finally, you're gonna put the frames from the nuke box into the hive. A nuke is short for hive nucleus, and it contains all parts of a fully functioning colony. When you pick up your nuke, some sellers are gonna help you install your nuke into your own equipment on site, while others are gonna send you home with the transport box. If you open the nuke on site, you can confirm its size and check for a queen. However, you're also gonna lose some bees during that process. If you take your bees home before you check, make sure you check right away when you get home that you received what you agreed upon. Most nukes that are sold are five frame nukes with young mated queens. This means that there's five frames that would be covered with bees, some of them with brood, and that there is a laying queen from that year. Some people prefer overwintered or older queens, some people mark queens, and some people sell smaller nukes. Always make sure you know what you're paying for. A nuke is different from a package in that your bees have food and that they have drawn comb to cling to. The bees have been living in this box just fine for days and they can usually stay just fine for a few more days. So it's not as urgent to install them as fast as you would a package. However, keep in mind that if your nuke is too large and there are bees ready to hatch, the nuke could become overcrowded if you wait too long to install them into a full hive. If this occurs, the bees will abscond and you'll lose your bees and your queen. Here's the equipment you're gonna to need to install your nuke. The nuke, a fully set up hive with one deep or two mediums and a hive tool. If the weather's terrible or it's late at night, then just set the nuke box on top of the hive and open the door to let the bees fly. Come back the next day and install the bees when the conditions are better. And don't worry if there's light rain or if it's cloudy. The bees will be just fine to install with these weather conditions. Open the hive and take out five frames from the center of the box. Open the nuke box and don't worry if some bees escape. They're gonna find their way back to the hive. Using your hive tool, gently loosen or remove an outside frame from the nuke, taking care not to squish any bees along the outside. Check this frame for the queen and then put it in the hive. Continue to remove frames and put them in the hive, making sure to check for the queen on each frame and taking care to keep the frames in the same order that they were in in the original nuke box. If you already know how to find eggs, then check to make sure your queen is laying. Seeing eggs is an important part about beekeeping, so if you don't know how to do it yet, have someone teach you. But regardless, the main point is to get the bees in their new home as soon as you can. Push all your frames together tightly. Add your feeder with one-to-one -one sugar water and then close up the hive. You're gonna leave your bees alone for about a week, but you wanna make sure that they don't run out of food during this period. To recap on our discussion about installing a nuke, the overall goal here is to get your bees in the hive as soon as possible. So just put the frames from the nuke box into the hive in the same order they were in. Give them some food and let them go to work. 